Hello everyone, welcome back. So here's another example from chapter five. So we're still focusing on steady state diffusion, but I wanted to once again show you how this is connecting to previous sections. Okay. Now, what we have here is a sheet of BCC iron and it's one millimeter thick. It was exposed to a carburizing gas atmosphere on one side and a decarburizing atmosphere on the other at 725 degrees Celsius. After having reached steady state, that's the key here for telling us what equation to use, the iron was quickly cooled to room temperature. The carbon concentrations at the two surfaces of the sheet were determined to be 0.012 and 0.0075 weight percent. And it says compute the diffusion coefficient if the diffusion flux is 1.4 times 10 to the negative 8 kilograms per square meter seconds. Um, and it's giving us a hint that we should use an equation from our book to convert the concentrations from weight percent to kilograms of carbon per cubic meter. Now, why do we care about that? First off, let's figure out what that hint's going on about. Our diffusion equation, you know, the one we have, is that a flux is equal to negative times my diffusion coefficient, change in concentration over change in position. Now I've got concentrations, so why did I worry about that? Well, if you look at the units, your concentration has to be in kilograms per meter cubed. If it's not, this doesn't work. So we have to go from weight percent to kilograms per meter cubed. Everything else is fine. The second thing to think about is, okay, well, it gave us a temperature and last time that wasn't really helpful. Do you think we're gonna need it this time? And the answer is no. No, because we're just trying to find our diffusion coefficient, we're not trying to find it at various other temperatures. Okay, so with that in mind, what is this magical equation um, that we get from 4.9? Well, it looks something like this. Let me make sure I actually do it all right. Um, okay, now some of this stuff is going to be dependent on what we're talking about. So this is BCC iron up here, and so that's why you see iron and iron. And it's a carburizing or carbon adding gas. So that's why we have carbon here and here. And this is going from kilograms per meter cubed. Um, and then we're using our weight percent right here to help us get there. We'll have to do this for each of them. We'll have to do this for the 0.012 and the 0.0075 situations. So if I plug this in, I do it correctly, which is always, you know, not necessarily a given. Let me see, I'll get something like this. So this would be for the 0.0128%. Okay. If I type it in correctly, it'll look something like the following. You can get the densities of carbon and the densities of iron. If you want to, you can look online. You can also just go ahead and look in your book. Your book should have a table with it. Now, if you're looking right here, that comes from the fact that everything has to add to 100. So if I have 0 0.012 weight percent carbon, we're assuming that everything else is iron. So that would be equal to 99.988. And finally, this times 10 to the third is because I want kilograms per meter cubed, not grams per centimeter cubed. And that's a really fun conversion that 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed is equal to one gram per centimeter cubed. If you don't believe me, try doing the conversions and you'll find it's true. Okay, so if I plug all that in, what do I get? What is the density of carbon in this? 
and it's going to be equal to 0 0.590 kilograms. Oops, sorry. Going for my notes. That's the wrong one. 0.994 kilograms per meter cubed. And that's for carbon. That's for carbon. Now, let's do the second one. I'm just following all these steps. I'm going to go ahead and put a box around this so I don't forget. And we'll do it. How are we here? It's going to be equal to 0 0.0075 over 0 0.0075. This is the carbon right here. And this one right here is coming from the fact that everything has to add to 100. times 10 to the third is to get us to kilograms per meter cubed. When I do that, I get 0 0.590 kilograms per meter cubed. Of course, it's kilograms carbon per meter cubed, not kilograms of everything per meter cubed. Okay. Now we have most of everything we need here, but let's go ahead and start calculating stuff. Now we know our flux is equal to our negative sign, our diffusion coefficient, change in concentration over change in position. And we know what our concentrations are now in the right units. But we want to solve for our diffusion coefficient, so we need to solve. So I'm going to bring diffusion coefficient over here. And so I'll have 1 over d is equal to negative 1 over j times delta c over delta x. And I invert everything, so I get d is equal to negative j times xa minus xd all over ca minus cb. Okay, that's looking pretty good. And if I plug all my numbers in there, what do I get? Well, I get that d is equal to negative 1.4 times 10 to the negative 8. I am leaving off my units. You should not because I'm just running out of space. On the top, I'm going to have negative 10 to the negative third because that's meters all over my change in concentration, which is always the bigger, at least in this case, it'll be the bigger minus the smaller. Um, it's mostly just coming because I'm moving my negative sign up to the top. 0.944 minus 0 0.590. And when I do that, what does my diffusion coefficient come out to be? Well, if I plug it in my calculator, I get equal to 3.95 times 10 to negative 11 meters squared per second. This will always be positive. So if you ever just mess up on your negative signs, just make it positive at the end. There's no real issue with that. Okay, so thank you for listening. The biggest things we had to remember was the how to convert from our weight percent to a particular density. The reason this was a little more difficult is because we're having to do it as a part of a um, composite. Mostly it's iron, but there's a little bit of carbon in there, and that's why the carbon density is so low. Because in real life, it would be actually very, very dense if it was all carbon. Okay, so thanks for listening, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.